So, in today's lecture, we're going to see about different operations in C language. So, we have a table known as the precedence table. So, you can also refer this table as I've taken from the Google. Okay, precedence table. So, this table is known as precedence table. Uh, okay, so we have these uh, operators, these operators and their type and their associativity. So I will tell you what is associativity and precedence. Okay, so first thing is, from the top to the bottom, we have the higher priority to the lowest priority. Okay, so so I want you to everyone learn this table by heart. So how to learn this table? See, I use this memory map known as this Bruna Rift re bit log ter comma. So what does this mean is, see, we have this bra brackets here. So BR stands for brackets, then the unitary operators comes, so UN is for unitary operator, then comes the arithmetic operators, so AR, arithmetic operators, so we have the shift operators next, so shift operators, IFT, shift operators. So next is relational operators, so RE, okay, bit for bitwise operations, log for logical operations, okay, Ter means for ternary or conditional operator and then there comes a com see which is compound operator which is compounding means we have uh, this compound operation so it is also kind of assignment statements so I will tell you later and MA uh, as a whole concept becomes the comma operator so comma is not needed as well but it is also required in print statement and scan statement as well so I want everyone to write in your copy this line okay so I'm pausing the video just write it so firstly we'll discuss the logical operation because it is the easiest operation we can ever have okay so we already know that what are logical operators right so we also know the logical and logical or negation so this is this uh, double ampersand sign is the logical and operation double pipe operator it is called the logical or operation this is logical uh, negation sign. So, also write this statement. Every real number is logical true except zero. What does this mean is, zero is false. Other than zero, everything is true. Now we will complete this table. And so, there are two operations, uh, two operands, one and two. So, if one operand is uh, having uh, zero, the answer of the logical and will become zero. So it is zero, it is also zero, it is also zero, and it is one. Okay, and what about the logical or? If any uh, of the two operands is having one, then the answer is one. For in this case, we have this is one, this is one, and this is one. Okay, and this will be always zero. Okay. So this is the table that we want to have. Now we'll let's uh, fill up this exercise. So, 9 is logical true. Negation of true is 0. So, 0 is false, right? So, also we have this 0 and it is false. And negation of false is true, which is 1. Okay? So, actually the output in integer is 1. Okay? Even we have also have this negative 20, which is also a true value. Negation of true is false. Okay. So, also we have this one. 3 and 7. What should be the answer? So, 3, uh, sorry, the 3 is logical true. 7 is logical true. True and true becomes true. Okay. Well, let's check it out. We have this one logical or zero so it is one okay and now we have a complex uh, statement we have eight logical and three logical and zero so here comes a confusion what should we take first uh, we should take uh, should we take this one okay first evaluate this statement or should we evaluate this statement uh, this one Okay, there's a confusion here. So, according to the precedence table, it is shown that the logical operation should be left to right operation. 
so associate with the left to the right operation from left to right okay so what is the left operator here this one so this 8 and this 3 should be associated first then we should associate this 0 for now we have true for this as a combined and true and 0 it will become 0 okay have you got this okay now also we have this logical or operation so first thing we need to associate these two from left to right okay so 1 or uh, 4 which is logical true logical or and then logical true is giving you 1 so and also if there is a logical 1 for the logical true statement for the whole statement so it is always true okay now let's check this so now we have logical or and we have logical and so what should we execute first this one or this one okay the precedence table states that the logical and should be executed first and then the logical or because logical and is having higher priority than logical or so we need to associate this 3 with the 1 first so what is the answer to this problem it is true this if this is true okay so we will assign here 1 8 is already logical uh, true which is 1 okay it is in integer right so 1 or 1 give you 1 okay so and answer to this problem is 1 so I'm reverting back here here 1 what about this we will associate these two first it will give you uh, false because we have a zero here and and condition in between so it is false but we have 8 as a true value true or false gives you true which is one okay now let's talk about the relational operator it is also associated from left to right okay there are uh, these operators in this relational operators so this is a less than sign this is greater than sign it is less than or equal to it is greater than or equal to and this is uh, written in black which is equal to not equal to okay so here if you see that first question is 2 is less than equal to 3 yes it is true 1 is the answer in integer 2 is equal to 2 yes it is correct 2 is not equal to 2 it is false it will give you 0 now there's a problem here what would be the uh, associativity first so if I say that these operations are executed first it means that 3 and 5 would be associated first okay so here it is I associate them first with a bracket and then solve it so what will the answer 3 is less than 5 it is true so right here true 3 is equal to 1 so it is false so 0 would be the answer so I'm reverting back okay false would be the answer right and what about this see if we see that these are less than sign and greater than sign we have these two in a code in a line single line so we will associate from left to right okay so we will associate this first and then the other one so one is greater than two which is false zero zero is less than five it is true one would be answer okay I'm just rewriting back true okay the last problem is here four is not equal to two so it is uh, true here so you can just replace this one with one one is equal to one it is also true okay right okay now let's talk about the shift operations which is also uh, from the left to right associative okay so we have two operators which is left shift and right shift okay two less than sign comprise the left shift and two greater than sign represents the uh, right shift so what is the right shift here is let's say we have a number r and if you write r space right shift i it means that uh, 
you want to shift the bits of R by I times or I shifts is there. So what is in decimal uh, meaning is in decimal if you have R just divide the R by 2 power I. For example I will tell you this. So let's talk about this here. Uh, let's say we have this number Z one 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 zero one zero. If you do the right shift by 2 it means that this block is just shifted by two times and you will get two zeros in the front okay so what is actually this uh, meaning is this uh, number r was 58 in decimal okay so what i did is 2 to the power of 2 this uh, red uh, signed which is 2 it is the power here okay so 2 power of 2 is 4 58 divided by 4 it is 14.5 but in integer we have 14 so if you notice this this is in 14 so just for now bear with me because I think you don't know about the uh, decimal to binary binary decimal but just think about this this block has been shifted by 2 and two zeros has been placed as before but what about the left shift it is just the reverse you can see that we have this block which is just left shifted by 3 and this block gets shifted to the left and we have three places uh, where we, we can place 0 so what is this meaning is uh, I mean to say is which is 11 which is this block into 2 power 3 which is 88 so this in binary is 88 in decimal so what does we uh, summarize is right shift is the division operation and the left shift is the multiplication operation based on the uh, sh number of shift we are doing okay now let's go to the important uh, question how to convert a decimal number into a binary number let's say we have a decimal number 92 how to convert this number 92 into a binary so what you're gonna do is uh, you need to divide 92 by 2 which is uh, 46 okay 46 would be the question and what is the remainder here it is 1 oh, sorry 0 because everything got divided now we do this operation repeatedly okay so in the next step we want to divide 46 by 2 which is 23 we got remainder 0 okay next step 11 and what should the remainder is 1 because we got only 22 but 1 is remaining so 1 is remainder here and again we need to do is 5 5 times 2 is 10 but we are remaining with 1 okay and also then divide this 5 by 2 so we get 2 as a question and 1 is a remainder here okay so also 1 times 2 becomes remainder as 0 okay and again lastly divided so it becomes 0 as a question and remainder as 1 so we need to write this all the numbers which is 0 1 0 1 okay so in uh, in the reverse order for example we have written here 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 so this is the binary for 92 so how to convert this binary into decimal in the reverse order so I need to uh, I've written this numbers in the, about the weights like this 1 into 2 which is 2 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 okay into 2 is 32 okay in this way so in the last uh, bit which is 128 is the MSB bit and the least one is the least significant bit okay so how to write is from the uh, from the uh, right side to left side so we have the 0 okay and 0 here and also 1 1 1 1 and then we have uh, sorry about this it is 0 and it is 1 okay and the last bit we have uh, do not have any other bits here so you can just place 0 here okay so this is the uh, uh, binary of the 92 we have binary and what is the decimal equivalent you want to find it so what you can do is just add all the numbers having the one as a coefficient for example we have 64 
okay we have 64 plus uh, 16 here because it is having 1 plus it, we have 8 okay and 4 fine and also we do not have any other thing so if we add them all so you'll get 92 if we add them all okay